Hi guys, hello and welcome to Inceptor Gaming. If you're new to my channel, click like and give me a subscribe and put a note in the comments about the sort of RTS, simulation or any other kind of games you like to play that you think I might be of interest in. Also as well, um, I do apologise to my more regular followers. Uh, I did go radio silent for a couple of months just because I've had a few uh, things going on in my life I've had to take care of. But anyway, not to worry, I'm back now, so let's crack on. Today, I'll be doing a U-Boat review. Uh, I originally reviewed U-Boat nearly a couple of years ago when the game came out. Uh, but anyway, things have improved now since then, so let's just take a look. Even the menu screens and everything at this point, I can tell I've already improved and looking different. Uh, okay, so there's my little captain guy. I can uh, customise him as well. I don't think I'll do too much with him. Voice, you can't really change. I, I'm sure you're changing the build. That's quite a new one. I'm pretty sure you couldn't change the build of your character before, so I do like that idea. I still think that there's a kind of limit to how skinny or how fat or how strong you can make him. Uh, let's have a hunt through. Give him a nice little... Nice little jacket. Typical uh, U-boat captain's jacket, I think, we'll go for on that one. Uh, facial hair. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll go with uh, modest facial hair, just because we're going to start a new patrol. So, you, And let's just change the name. I'll put in my gamer tag instead of uh, Klaus Graf here. So there we go. There's my gamer tag, Borky. That is my nickname, has been for many years. One thing I've noticed as well at this point in time, unfortunately, the screen loading times are still very, very poor. That, that is, that is uh, still a frustration of mine. Uh, graphically, the game does look better in a lot of ways. But yeah, loading times still really, really bad. And uh, it is thinking about it, as I say. Yeah, the loading times have not been improved at all from what I can tell so far, which is a shame. I think that's definitely one area for development that the uh, the devs need to, need to get on with. I mean, look at this. This this is crazy. It's still thinking about it at this moment in time, you know. Bearing in mind, this is a and it's a very high quality, high demanding game. I know that. I'm aware of that. I'm using a a, a, a mid to high range specification uh, PC, so you know I don't I don't think my system is what's lacking here. I believe, you know, there is uh, some development work that needs to go on behind the scenes because. These low times are still pretty darn poor, to be fair. Okay, so we're getting into it. This is definitely new to me. I don't recall the game starting like this previously, so this has been added in. <laughs> Although, notice uh, the guy on the left-hand side there. He's actually not actually standing on the floor. <laughs> There's a, you know... About six inches off the ground there. Okay, so still got the odd little gr glitch in the graphics. This does look nice still. Yeah, the view from the dock also does look very nice. I'll give it that. There, your flag waving on the back of the boat. Yeah, that's nice as well. Okay, so I've got my recruitment officer there. Okay, let's have a look at my crew. Last time I played this game, a lot of the crew stories were exactly the same as others. So I'm just going to have a little hunt through some of these. So this guy's from a Prussian officer family. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting note. So he wanted to pay the British back for World War One. Okay. But Britain didn't start World War One. So, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, maybe you're angry about the Treaty of Versailles, possibly. But again, that all came around because Germany decided to 
invade France and a lot of other countries and conquer the world, which obviously failed. Anyway, not to worry. So, now looking at this guy. Okay, so this guy's had a tough path in training, apparently. Okay, whatever. Uh -huh, so he's a playboy. Ah, here we go. He joined the army. Right, okay. He's not in the army. He's in the navy. Navy. Okay, so developers, please correct your English, okay? These guys are not in the army. They are in the navy. The Kriegsmarine is navy, not army. So they still need to sort out some of this text. This text is still pretty crap. Um, he loved being in nature, this guy. Well, I'm sorry. How do you love being in nature? Again, that's grammatically bad English. Uh, so, yeah. Developers, please sort out the English. That is not good still. You need to, you need to, you, need to, uh, you know, you need to uh, get on board with somebody who's fluent in English as their first language, not as, uh, or sorry, native speaker even, not, um, not somebody who clearly doesn't speak it as their first language. But anyway, let's have a look at the uh, missions. We're going to do some training missions, I think. Let's just see what options are available. Training resupply. Okay. Estimated time training, 20 minutes of a, of a patrol, essentially. I think that might be a good option to go for. I know there's a few other training options there. I mean, I don't really need to train how to do the stores. That's... You know, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And there's another training patrol there as well. I mean, recruitment is pretty, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Ship upgrades. Yeah, it's nice to know how to do ship upgrades. But at this point in the game, you know, very first sort of mission, you can't upgrade anything anyway. So that's just pointless at this, uh, this stage. Okay, so I'm training crew management, which is basically taking my crew on a patrol. Okay. So we need to plot a course to this boxed area. Okay, set the speed. Okay, schneller, schneller. Right, that is still incorrect, okay? You know, developers, please sort these things out, you know. Schneller, schneller is not what a captain would say. He would say, you know, ahead standard, ahead uh, half, or all give us some command like, you know, 15 knots or whatever. He would not say schneller, schneller. That's an incorrect way for a captain of a U-boat to give an order to proceed. So please, devs, sort that out. Also as well, I just noticed there, when I had a little look around the external uh, side of the U-boat, the, the back end, where the rear torpedo tube is, that still looks really, really crap and nothing like the back of a Type 7 U-boat in real life. So again, that's definitely still uh, developmental work needs to take place on that one. Okay, so I'm already having a little sleep, right? Why not? Little graphics glitch there. Uh, Okay, so I'm just going to take a walk around the boat just to see if there's anything uh, I've noticed improvement-wise. I mean, fair play, the interior of the U-boat does look really, really good. That's one thing that's always been excellent. Uh, so just to have a little refresh, I'm going to walk around. Okay, there's the front torpedo tubes. Okay, so I can select there what tubes I want to uh, put into... The what, torpedoes, I wish to add into the tubes. Yeah, again, okay, okay. Torpedo launchers, right, they're not torpedo launchers, they are torpedo tubes. Okay, devs, please learn English, right, seriously. Ah, I've got my binoculars hanging around my neck there. Another guy there, I noticed his feet not touching the floor. Okay. 
I like that we can still take command of crew members. Okay, so that's a toilet, yeah. That there's a storage locker. Okay, so there's the listening room or the sonar station and just behind that then is the radio room okay and there's my bunk there the captain's bed and also there's my activity oh okay so I can add some notes here okay that's handy to know it's quite a nice feature actually I think that you can add uh, sort of add notes and uh, update your sort of own patrol log as you can uh, as you continue your patrol so training patrol uh uh, let's just add something in here. Now, currently I'm using, uh, this is U-boat B128, I believe it is. 129 is supposed to be in the pipework, uh, but it hasn't come out as yet. So we're on 128. So U-boat B128 review. Oh, I didn't mean to put that all in caps. So let's just change that there. Okay, that's better. Looks a little bit more civilized now. Okay. So yeah, that's that's a handy little touch, a nice little touch, I think. So here we are moving around the boat in the main control room. Depth steers station. Again, that sounds just like terrible English. You know, I'm not sure what the exact um, name of that station would be, but depth steers, I don't know, that doesn't sound right somehow. That sounds like, uh, yeah, poor English to me, to be honest. Okay, so there's the echo sounder. Let's have a ping. Okay, so 12 meters beneath us. Okay, there's our gyro compass there. Okay, so that's our bilge pumps. I like we can sit down and play cards as well. Okay, so his newspaper is not touching the bed. <laughs> so there's still uh, a few little glitches like that where, yeah. Things are not quite as they should be, graphically speaking. Okay, so there's the second toilet on board. And there's another storage locker. Diesel engine compartment. Air ventilation system. I do like the way the engines look, they do look really good to be fair. See them working like that and the guys listening in with their scopes on them there. Okay, so that's our workshop. Ah, okay, so I have to be an engineer to look at that, that's fine. And there's our rear torpedo tube again, guys, developers please. They're tubes, they're not launchers, you know. Okay, and I've set my guy there to uh, mess around with the torpedo not that the captain would remove the torpedo from the tube himself but hey it is a nice little touch I mean it's clear that a lot of time and effort is going into this game so I will give the developers you know credit where it's due I mean graphically apart from the weird little uh, quirky glitches where you know things are not sitting how they should it is pretty good overall to be fair on the graphics front it is nice you can walk around the entire boat as well Okay, so there's our tactical binoculars. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, we've got a headlamp there we can turn on and off as we require. Let's go have a look down at the deck. Okay, there's our flat gun. <clears throat> okay, there's our 88mm deck gun. <clears throat> I must admit the, um, the details of the deck does look really, really good. I 
I'm going to try and walk down this side of the boat because the last playthrough, aha, still can only walk down the left hand side of the conning tower. Right, okay. So developers still need to sort that one out because you should really be able to walk down both sides, not just one side. And there's our ladder back up. Okay, so we can't open that hatch, but it'd be nice if we could have. It's not important, but it just would be a nice little touch. Okay, let's check our map then. So, uh, okay, so I've had a nice little walk around the boat, you know. Graphically, overall, the boat does look really, really good. Um, but obviously, there's still a few little graphical glitches there where things aren't quite as they should be. But, you know, they're not too bad. They're, they're only very minor inconveniences. Okay, we can do a bit of time compression as well in a minute. I notice as well the time compression uh, menu down the bottom there, that's definitely different than what I remember. So that's definitely uh, an improvement. And I believe as well now, uh, you can increase it to a much higher maximum time than you could previously, which is definitely a step forward. Okay, open C. Ah, okay, so that means we can now use increased levels of time compression, which is definitely very, very handy. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, so let's get off. Okay, oh, and the game is glitching. It's freezing up on me. So maximum speed. Yeah, it is freezing up. Right. Okay, yeah, I can't really do anything at the moment. Yeah, the game is just freezing on me. And also, I've just noticed all of my officers are showing there have all gone to bed as well. Okay. I'm sure there'd always be at least one on watch, but four in sleep. Okay. All right, I'm just trying to sort out this time compression, uh, but no, it's, my game has literally frozen here. I can't do anything at all at this point. Okay, so that's where we go. We've managed to hit pause. Okay, and I've greatly overshot the uh, the rendezvous location with the enemy, the enemies I'm supposed to encounter. Yeah, again, the game, yeah, the game is uh, getting a bit juddery there. So definitely, uh, you know, definitely some rework by the development team needs to be uh, looked into. Okay, let's drop the speed to 12, uh, 48 times, sorry, 48 times. So 10 nautical miles, 9 nautical, nautical miles uh, from our target location. Okay, we're getting very, very close now. Okay, so arrived at the area. Now, it's interesting to note as well, when I overshot it, the game didn't pause and slow it down for me when I went through the location the first time. Okay, so let's have a look at the... Uh, okay, the crew management side of things. All right. Okay, so we need to submerge to periscope depth to use our hydrophones. Okay. I do like the fact that you no longer have to manually um, send an officer to the diving control valves, which is good. And that's definitely an improvement.
The colour of the sea looks really good as well, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, the details of the game graphically do look very good. Like I say, I do have an issue with the aft torpedo tube, how that looks on the boat, because it looks nothing like how a Type 7 really does look. That is one gripe I do have on the detailing. I thought that should have been sorted out by now. Okay, so there we are switching to electric motors because we've gone underwater. Yep, so hydrophones. Okay, also another bit of very poor English there. Okay. Hydrophone can be uh, manned by trade officer, but radio mans, it's not radio mans, it's radio men. Or a radio man, singular. Right, or radio men, plural. Not radio mans. So please, devs, sort the English out. The yeah, English is terrible. Just seeing here if I can get any kind of manual control on the hydrophones. No, that seems to not be possible for me to do anything in manual. Um, I don't know if that's purely because I'm in the tutorial section of this of this game, so possibly. So I'm going to let that one go. Okay, so hydrophone operator has picked up the target. Okay, still got a bit of annoying loading then in between uh, on on the old map screen there. That's that's yeah, that's still quite frustrating to be honest. I'm guessing the memory usage of this game is still really really high. Okay, so let's have a little look around our boat here. Captain, I'm just going to send a guy to uh, the radio station. Reason being, I'm going to send off a couple of radio messages when I get the opportunity. Okay, so we have detection. Alarm! Auf der Fechtstation. Okay, so enemy has been detected. Brilliant. Now we can send off the radio message. Right. Okay, that's an interesting note about the torpedoes. 280 kilogram warhead, that's pretty massive. Okay, so yes, we need a torpedo Air officer Kaloi. in place, that's fine. Air Kaloi. Oh, I'm already on the uh, attack periscope, so I'm going to move myself off there. Although, technically, that shouldn't really make a difference, you know, because the captain would often do the... Uh, do the firing solutions on torpedoes, so Captain. as long as you've got a qualified officer yeah, in the it. station, I shouldn't need to specifically select a different officer, but anyway, not to worry. It is only tu tutorial, so let's just crack on. The guy there still going around with the broom. <laughs> I swear there's one sailor that uh, all he ever does is use a broom all patrol. <laughs> it's quite, quite amusing, really, but... Right, so there's my uh, transport selected. So my officer is going to work out the firing solution. Okay, so there's confirmation that we do have a decent firing solution. That was good. Okay, so left click to select. Aha, and now we have our option to load our tubes. Or flood our tubes. All right, so all torpedoes are loaded. Brilliant. Okay. Considering this merchant is not particularly big, I'm surprised that we're required to to flood three tubes, to be honest. 
I would have thought two tubes, maybe three, mm, bit overkill. Okay, so tube one away, tube two away, and tube three away. Okay, so it's not going to let me uh, reload the tubes. Okay, that's fine, not to worry. This is one thing I always did like from the original uh, when I first played it. Um, I like how on the map screen you can you know zoom into the actual what's going on. So that's that's pretty good. That's a very very neat feature, which I've always I've always appreciated. Always do like. I do think, however, though, we should get like uh, a camera view of the torpedoes themselves. You know, a little PIP screen there showing the uh, showing showing the torpedo en route to target. That would be good. Many uh, sub games of the past have that feature. It'd be nice to have that again here. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Okay, so half the distance has been covered. Brilliant. Okay, so the observation scope is up as well as the attack scope. That's why my view is partially. 40 boxed. Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Okay, 40 seconds. Okay. Herr Kaloy. Kapitän. A lot of echo as well when the guys are talking. Sekunden. A lot of echo. What's all that about? Herr Kaloy. Okay, let's get to observation Sekunden. scope. Treffer. Okay. Feuer an deck. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Treffer. Höhlenbruch. Sie sinken. Okay. Treffer. Well, that's a successful hit, so that's that's good. It was nice to watch it through the observation scope. Also, I'm noticing some glitching going on there as well on the graphics. So yeah. Definitely still some work on this game, even though the game is nearly two years old now, nearly two years. I mean, come on, guys. Okay, so we required now to surface, uh, because apparently there should be at least another merchant around. Tanks unblasen. So let's come to the surface. Send off a radio message there, so it's, uh, we've uh, sunk a target. Okay, again, I need to select that one specific officer, which is a bit strange, but anyway, not to worry, just going to go with it. Okay, so yes, a little bit of information about the sailors. Okay, so I can sign a couple of sailors to an officer. That's fine, brilliant. So just a little tutorial there. One thing I do find strange as well, um, this submarine currently apparently has 18 uh, sailors and officers on board. Well, 18 crew on a... Type 7 U-boat is not very many at all. It's considerably less than how many sailors were actually on a U-boat. So, uh, yeah, that needs to be looked at as well. Okay, so the map there. Okay, so I can see uh, where I sunk the enemy ship. And also, I need to then to head to the other freighter. 
the game also appears to be a little bit frozen at this point in time again so a little bit of a glitch here, I'm afraid Okay, so there we go, it's unstocked now, so let's proceed. Okay, so the fight has been spotted, but it spotted us, so we're just going to go ahead and use a deck gun. However, I'm required to send my captain to the deck gun now again you know come on the guys are the captains are organizing and running the ship running the boat there is no way a captain would manly man a deck gun that just would never happen you know enlisted sailors would man the gun for sure an officer especially the captain never no chance Um, putting a few shots over to it. Let's go to manual mo mode on the observation. Uh, target targeting binoculars here. Oh, there we go. Quite a bit of, good bit of magnification there. Getting a good few hits on it by the looks of things. Fire and deck. It's listing. Yeah, it's going under. Okay. Target destroyed. So now I can get back to port. Okay, a little bit of glitching there as well, graphically, by the looks of things. Okay, so he's trying to walk through me, not to worry. <laughs> okay, so let's just head back to port as quick as we can. Go send off the radio messages as well. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Okay, so I'm limited on how much time compression I can use because uh, there's still enemy targets or what remains of them in, in my view line, in my in my sight. So, okay, uh, tube one has been reloaded, okay. Okay, tube two loaded, brilliant. Okay, finally you can use maximum time compression. A little bit of glitching there as well, yep. Well, that is running better this time, so that's fine. Okay, still loading on the map screen, right? I mean that has improved, you know. It doesn't doesn't 
you know, load and hang as much on the map screen as it used to, but still, yeah, still a bit poor on that one. Okay, let's get into port and dock. Okay, mission completed. Fantastic. Okay then, so here we are now coming into port. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. So then, my conclusion, guys. Now, this game has definitely come on a long way from where it was the last time I played it, which is like over a year ago. It's come on even further from where it was at when I first bought the game coming up to two years ago. So progress is most definitely being made. However, at this current point in time, I still cannot recommend it as a game to buy right now. The reason being, there's still too many things to be sorted out with it. For example, you still can only walk down one side of the U-boat past the conning tower. I mean, really, what is that all about? Okay, you know, that needs to be corrected. The aft torpedo tube, when looking at it from the outside of the boat in the external camera view, still looks absolutely terrible and is absolutely nothing like how the back end of a real Type 7 U-boat looks. It just doesn't. It's not even close. Not slightly. Also, as well, a lot of the uh, English text translations are still really, really bad and need to be worked on. I mean, seriously, it is blatantly obvious to me that the people who are writing the text uh, documents for this game, they are not native English speakers. That is obvious from the from the abysmal English that is. Uh, that is portrayed on the screen there. So please guys, get somebody in to do your English text who is actually a native English speaker. It will look a lot better. Really, please, sort that one out. But overall, the game has a lot of potential. It has come on a long, long way. And I do genuinely hope, as a person who loves these kind of games, that it will continue to get better and better and eventually become what it should be and eventually become worth the money that it's currently retailing at on Steam. But anyway, we can only hope the guys are making good progress. I will give them their due. But really, they've still got an awful lot of work to do to make this a game worth the money. Hopefully the guys will get there. I really want them to get there. I want them to succeed. I want this game to succeed. But please guys, you've got a lot to do a lot to do to make this game right.